Hello everyone and welcome to Muscle and Strength. Victor Martinez here and I'm about to show you my favorite exercises for chest development. We're gonna start with overall shaping and mass building. Let's get started. Okay, first we're gonna start with an incline fly variation to activate the upper pecs. Now, incline I think is my most important uh, exercise for chest because it gives you the fullness, the illusion, it also fills out the clavicle area of your chest. Therefore, give me a great, a great front double bicep, great side chest, and overall chest development. So to activate the upper pecs and the incline before I start any pressing, I usually do this fly movement, which is a little different than most because it's not your basic fly where your palms facing up. It's more, again, of an activation. Now, my thumbs are facing up, dumbbells are touching my forearm, dropped at the bottom. Over here, you see it on both sides. The reason for that is, again, you'll see right now in a second, as I open up as a regular fly, go back, feeling my, all of my upper clavicle. Now, as I go up, it allows me to squeeze, and all I'm feeling is my upper pec clavicle area. Again, what's the difference? When you're doing the fly, for some reason, I tend to use a lot of my bicep. This one here allows me to focus only on the upper pec without getting my bicep involved. Incline dumbbell press. Can't go home without them on chest day. Gives you that very strong stature look and your chest is always popping. At ease, let's go. Let's do these mass builders. Biggest mistake, people go towards the shoulder you don't want that. It involves too much of the rotator cuff. So about two inches above, as you go up, squeeze. So I'm doing my second favorite chest exercise, which is semi-inclined Smith machine press. The reason I do this one and not the flat barbell press is because I slightly tore my pec a few years back. Now, I'm not trying to tell you not to do it, but you can do the barbell press at least every two to three weeks because it is the free weight. It gives you a different range of motion. Just be sure not to bring the bar to your clavicle bring it slightly below your chest or mid chest point, and you avoid a lot of the injuries to your pec and rotator cuff. Yeah, everybody, this is another one of my favorite exercises. Unfortunately, some gyms don't have this machine. I like doing it because I can go extremely heavy, build that mass, don't have to worry about balancing the weight. But if you don't have this machine, guess what? Do the one that emulates it, which is the original old school dumbbell press. Again, you can go extremely heavy, get that squeeze, and it inverts inside, allowing you to squeeze that chest. It's like doing free weight dumbbells, and that's what dumbbell gives you the freedom to do, is squeeze. If you would do this on a flat bar, you're basically just doing straight up and down. Okay, these are my favorite exercises for chest. Thanks for watching, subscribe below.